President of the Bahamas Football Association, Anton Selim, says that while he is involved in delicate negotiations at this time, he can disclose a few of his association's plans thus far. But basically what we're looking to do as a federation is, as the minister alluded to, is try to put some um, bodies in the seats at the national stadium. So we're looking at uh, bringing in some international teams, uh, both for games and for long uh, for training, off-season training, and we hope to conclude with uh, a number of teams uh, very shortly. So that's um, what we're working on right now. We're looking at a number of European clubs, yes, and uh, uh, one or two national teams from uh, our region. This year is panning out to be quite an exciting year for the association in a number of other respects as well. We have our under-17 girls who, you know, we're very proud have qualified for the uh, finals of the CONCACAF under-17 uh, championships which will be taking place in Guatemala in May so uh, they are actively training right now uh, training in earnest for that uh, competition and uh, we're looking for we are uh, under 15 and under 20 boys uh, will also be in competition this year so we're uh, those are things those are the things that uh, I'm at liberty to discuss right now but um, you know, we, like I say, it's going to be an exciting year for us. The Bahamas Football Association is also responsible for spearheading the construction of a park on East Bay Street created for sand soccer. It's an accomplishment that they are very proud of. Last time you and I spoke, we talked about the facility that we were starting at the bridge. I'm pleased to say that that facility is uh, completed right now. We only need to uh, do the landscaping, and very soon we'll be having uh, uh, some events there, including some international events as well. Uh, soccer in the that is sand soccer and we've also put in what we call a futsal court there which is the hard surface uh, uh, five-a-side uh, uh, game so it's you know we're, we're excited about uh, that facility coming on stream uh, in a matter of uh, weeks. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.